This video clip demonstrates a premature termination during pressure control ventilation or actually adaptive pressure control ventilation. Uh, you notice there's going to be a starting target tidal volume of around 650 and it takes approximately a peak pressure of 26. We're going to look at the flow waveform here in red and notice that how it doesn't fully decelerate. So the only thing that's going to be changed on the ventilator is lengthening the inspiratory time so the flow waveform fully decelerates. So at this time it's currently taking a peak pressure of 26 to 27 to get the 650 um, tidal volume. Notice the resistance and the compliance won't change. And during the next couple of breaths the inspiratory time is going to be increased which will create more deceleration. With that we recruit more VLI and open up the lungs a little more. Look at the tidal volume, how it has increased significantly and with the tidal volume increasing the adaptive mode each breath will start decreasing the pressure to get the target tidal volume of 650. So we lengthen the inspiratory time pretty much um, as far as we can and at this time the peak of my plateau should be pretty much equal so I recruited all the VLI I can and notice to target the same tidal volume of approximately 650 it took a lot less 